Welcome, everyone. My name is Corey Freed. I am the educational consultant for Visual Set. Today's session is going to be a brief overview of using Smart Notebook and Smart Learning Suite Online as a whiteboard if you are sharing your screen. We are going to be looking at how to use it with a touchscreen device. And then we will also be looking at what happens if you don't have a touch screen. How could you share from your cell phone or from an iPad and use that to help you write and write clearly for your students and do things that you need. So we're going to start with Smart Notebook. Now, for those of you that said you're looking at doing things interactive with your students, what you might be interested in are the activities, which would be found under the little more icon right on the top that says activities. So these activities here, when it loads, these are the games that you can play with your students. And if you upload this to Smart Learning Suite Online, these are the games that your students can actually play on their own when you are doing things with them. Of course, the internet is a little slow, so the activities, there we go. They weren't loading because you know it never works right when you're trying to demonstrate it. So these are the type of activities you can create with your students. They're very simple to create. Basically, it's all fill in the blank. So if I was to pick rank like a, like the ranking orders or the matching game, it asks you to put your categories, put what your texts are, and then you just keep hitting next. And what it's going to do is it's going to just create an interactive activity for your students. So we're going to be looking at using it as a whiteboard right now. And to use it as a whiteboard, you would want to have a blank screen. And on that blank screen, you will actually see on the top your toolbar, you have all of these tools up top that you can use. You have a variety of pens. So you have all of these different pens that you can use and we'll look at what the different pens are. You also have the shape box. You have the abnormal, I don't want to say abnormal shapes, that's not the right word, but the more complex shapes. You have a text box you could type the eraser, the line drawing. So these are all right here. These are the whiteboarding tools that you would use. So when you're looking at the different pens, unlike when you're on your smart board where you can have two different colors going at once, four different colors going at once, depending on which board you have, when you're using it as a computer, you're only going to really have the one color. Now, if you have the type of computer with a touch screen that you can use your finger as the pen, you can write with your finger on your screen. I do have a stylus. So you can see that all these different things. Now, what's really nice about using Smart Notebook on your computer is it gives you all the functionality of your smart board, just smaller on your screen, apparent, obviously. So if you have, for example, a PDF that you would like to have your students look at and you want to write on while you're talking to them, you can go up to File and you can import that PDF. So when you import a PDF, what it's going to do is it gives you this option to keep it as an image or to make it editable. I highly recommend keeping it as an image because when it, you make it editable, it even says it doesn't always look exactly as the original document. I have seen a lot of times where it comes out so different that it's almost impossible to write on afterwards. So when you import a PDF, what it's going to do is it basically takes a picture of the picture and then it places it as its own slide. So when it does that, as you can see, here was my PDF. It was a two page PDF. So the first page was the questions and the second page was the answers. So if I was as working as a teacher and I'm remote sharing this to my students, I can then come in, pick up my pen, and I could say to the kids, let's solve this. I can also like, for example, if I was to pull in a reading assignment, I could highlight things as I'm talking to the students. So those are the advantages of Smart Notebook is that you do have all of these functions, you do have all of these options, and you have this ability to customize everything. So Smart Notebook, just so you are aware, if you have an account for school, you can download it on your personal computer, and then when you sign in under account, your license will transfer to your personal computer. So don't worry if you didn't bring your school computer home with you or you have a desktop connected to your smart board 
at school because you can use the software on your personal computer. So the next thing we're going to look at is Smart Learning Suite Online. And the reason Smart Learning Suite Online is such a good option is because, first of all, some of you might have Chromebooks. And if that's the case, then you don't have the physical hardware or the physical software for Smart Notebook. The other reason is because with Smart Learning Suite Online, you can also use your cell phone. So what you would want to do is you would want to create a blank notebook that just has a title page. So you would click the Add Activity and you would click New Page, Title Page to introduce the topic. Once you've done that, you just click Finish because you don't have to actually edit it from the Smart Learning Suite Online if you're going to be using it as a whiteboard. So what you would do is you would click on the plus sign and click Blank Page. And now you have a blank page and your tools are over here on the left. So you will have the pen tool, you will have an eraser tool, and you will have the move it around tool. The reason why I say that you want to leave it in the finish mode and not edit mode is because if we were to go back to Smart Learning Suite and click edit on this, you will notice that there is no pen in the edit mode. Oh, of course, this time there is. It always works differently when you're demonstrating, doesn't it? So normally when you click edit, you have your text box, your insert, your picture box, but you don't actually have those pens on the side. So when you have that open, you have the pens on the side and if you need to add additional blank boards, you just click the plus side and click plus page. You can go to the triple dots and get to any color, but this is very limited in the sense that it is just pens. So now what I'm going to do is I am actually going to come into my cell phone and I am going to share my cell phone screen with you. So that way you can see if you are not having a touchscreen computer, how you could share this with your phone. So when you're in your phone, you would again click present screen. And then what you would do is you would go into your browser to smart suite to suite.smarttech.com. And as you can see, if you can't see my phone, if it didn't switch over automatically, you will notice that there is another Corey Freed listed under people. So you would want to click on that Corey Freed and that would bring up my phone's picture for you. So now you're looking at my cell phone. And just like before, I can come into my cell phone and now using my finger on the, on the phone screen, I could write. Now, obviously, my handwriting on the phone is not as neat as my handwriting on the tablet with a stylus, but it is, a, it is an option for you if you needed that option. So this is the reason why Smart, Smart Suite Online is a great option because you can access it from the cell phone. So this way you can screencast and be able to write on your documents for the students. So if you have any questions about the whiteboarding features of either Smart Notebook or Smart Learning Suite Online, you can feel free to type them in the chat or come off of mute. Also, if you haven't already, please put your email address in the chat box because this way we can send you resources after the session. I am going to post the link for the resources, this way you have it, but we will also be emailing it out to you. If you have any questions, I would be happy to answer them for you. I am going to shut off the cell phone now and go back to the computer screen. So I do hope that this was some helpful information for you all. I do hope that you got something out of it that you might not have had before. Again, this whole this 15 minute session was just on the whiteboarding features of Smart Learning Suite and Smart Notebook. So we can do a full session on all the features of Smart Notebook that are available for home use. There are a ton of them. It is an amazing program to be using with your students. And I would love to uh, help you any way I can.